Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA. This is your Manchester United versus Reading match preview in which is just going to be quick to the point match preview. I honestly don't think there's very much to discuss here. United should win this game. You all know how important a cup game is to me. United need to win some silver, whether it's the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, those cups are there to be won. And I want United to go out and win that because ultimately in football, you'd want to see your team winning silverware and trophies because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Sharing those memories, those moments, you know, it, it can last a lifetime. It can last a lifetime. And I think we have been run dry of those moments for a very, very long time as Manchester United. So I want Ten Hag to win this game. And I think that, you know, Ten Hag should win this game. United should win this game. No matter what team he picks, he can rotate the squad. United must win this game. I cannot stress it enough. I was looking at Reading today in the championship. Shocking. 14th in the championship. Last five games, two losses, two draws. Only one win. So there's no excuses. There is zero excuses for Manchester United. Whether you play a fully rotated squad, whether you play a strong squad, you win this game and let's just move on to the next set of fixtures. You can even rotate people in the next game because I believe it's Nottingham second leg and we should be through already on that anyways. So um, do smash like in the video. Do subscribe if you are new. Let's get straight into it. But I expect United's approach to be in this game. As always, Ten Hag, lots of possession. And I think the emphasis should be on creating some goal-scoring chances for the likes of Bebos, for the likes of maybe an Anthony or a Sancho, or whoever's playing on that other wing. Because, yes, Marcus Rashford is in fantastic form. Yes, he's been scoring very, very good goals. But the goals he's been scoring has been quite ridiculous, to be fair to him. And he is on fire. And long may it continue, long may it continue. But we can't keep on relying on Rashford to do it game in, game out. If he does... Fantastic, awesome. He's keeping up his form, he's helping the team, and that's fantastic. But at some point, it's going to drop off. It's going to drop off, you know. So um, I would like to see some more chances created for Vibos, like a tap-in or a cross into the box on his head, something like that. I'd like to see us work on that. And um, I think the dimensions of Anthony and Rashford on the wing, just they don't really help that. And Vibos, team as a player and how he is, his attributes, he doesn't really help the system. Yes, his link-up plays okay. He's not going to run onto any blows. His hold-up is okay. He's just there to um, draw men, really, honestly. But um, I think the big thing for me is Sancho has to be included. Lots of people predicted for this to be the return of Jaden Sancho. Will it? I do not know. I do not know. I can wholeheartedly say I've got no clue what the situation is on that. We know he's in England. He has been training. So what's happened? I would have at least said last game, Sancho should have been on the bench. Our options are running thin, thin, thin. We need Jaden Sancho back. Martial... Honestly, I love Marshall, you'll know that. But if you can't be relied on, can't be asked. Simple as that, you know. So let's just move on from that. But um, yeah, that's what I'm expecting. But regards to the team, let's go for it. I don't have a predicted team on next to me because I don't know what it could be. But I'm going to assume David De Gea and Gold doesn't really need to be rested, to be fair. It's been a little bit shaky now and then, so I'll probably give him a game. Uh, hopefully he can perform in a game like this. Let's see. Right back to low again. What's happening? Do not know. We don't really get much updates on players' injuries or absences from Ten Hag, so I don't really know. But if Delo is back, chuck him into this game. Let's see how he performs. Get him back into the swing of things. But if not, obviously it will be Aaron Wan Basaka. Maybe heck, maybe a Brandon Williams. Who knows? Maybe it could happen. You know, it could happen. He was on the he was included last game. So let's see with regards to that. Center back, maybe a Varane. He might play a Varane and a Maguire because he played Martinez and Lindelof last game, so maybe Maguire and Varane come into this game. Uh, left back, I think give Malasia the game. I think even if Luke Shaw is fit and he's okay to go, give Malasia this game. I think he's been doing pretty well and deserves quite a run of game. And these are probably the best opportunities Malasia can have to uh, have a run of fixtures ahead of him. So give, him the, give the lad some game time. I'm not opposed to that. Midfield, tough one. <laughs> I see McFred written all over it, but... Um, I do not know. I do not know. It might might very well be McFred. Uh, maybe give Casemiro a rest. He did miss the Arsenal game, so does he need a rest? I do not know. But you could rest him if you want. You play McFred, which is horrible, I know. But surely they're good enough to beat a 14th team in the championship. No disrespect to Reading. But surely they, this, they are better than that. Surely, right? Surely. Touch it. <laughs> I see with a lot of stress inside me. Um, Cam, I think, will be Bruno Fernandes. I don't see any other way. Um, Ericsson needs a good rest. Uh, don't we need to rely on him on this game? There's no Donny van der Beek for the rest of the season, so it is Bruno Fernandes whether we like it or not. I think on the wings, very interesting. I would give Benacho the start. 
I think I would give Ganato a start. Why not? He's been pretty good recently. Could be an opportunity to rest Rashford. Worst case, to bring him on. We win this game and we continue. So maybe bring on a Ganacho. At striker, there's no one really else. So probably has to be Big Horst. And on the wing, Sancho's back. Play Sancho. I beg. Play Sancho. We need him back into the team. Firing as soon as possible. But um, yeah, that is what I would hope for. That is what I would hope for. If not... I think Anthony or Ilanga, actually Ilanga might play this game. Who knows? We'll have to see. But with regards to that, I think that's generally this game in a nutshell. United should dominate. They should go win this game. You should see all of Ten Hag's philosophies implemented. Um, no matter which team we uh, we pick for to play against Reading, should do the job. Anyways, it might be a little bit ropey with certain players. Obviously, we know how bad they are. But they should still get over the line in this game. So, I'm going to go with the score prediction of, where are we playing? Where are we playing? Actually, I did not check this. Where are we playing? Are we playing at home? Are we playing away? We are playing at home at Old Trafford. I think he's going to rotate the squad and it might not be as clean as we'd like it. So, let's just go with the 2-0. Um, United defensively have been pretty good still. So, I'm not going to completely disregard our defensive form. Uh, we, we have been performing in the back and offensively. We've been okay. We've been okay. So, I'm going to give us 2-0 win. And let's just move on to that. I would like it to be more. United obviously should win this game. Three, two more goals up. Clean sheet, no. That's what it should be. Will it happen? It's another story. We'll have to see in the match reaction in it. But um, other than that, I hope you'll enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, big shout out to my team Fusion as well. Obviously, uh, they did very well in the Rocket League scene today. But I'm happy. Proud of those boys. Can't speak English. Proud of those boys. But uh, yeah, there's nothing else I really have to say. Other than that, do smash like on the video. Do subscribe if you are new. I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye.